Previously on Danganronpa. What are you talking about? There's no way. Yeah, I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's got to be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? The nails. Mugra had a very obvious Fenrir tattoo. Compare that to the mask attack. <gasps> yeah, I completely forgot about that. There is no tattoo. Oh, oh, we got him. It should be obvious. The tattoo. The tattoo, I swear to God. The two. I'm recording this at like 150. I'm so hyper now. What do we go find number five? Oh, God. You never saw their face, right? Let me check here real quick. Monokuma file number 5. Explosion of the victim's identity is unknown. They were however dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which means completely through the body. They had also been stuck in the head with an object as thick as the metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot? Or perhaps the left foot? Or could it be... the hips? The hips? Her most noticeable feature, the tattoo that marked her membership in Fenrir, Right. Two was in a certain cert easy to spot area. You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I hope it's right. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro. Good. No, that's wrong. We got him. 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 He literally gave it away. Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such tattoo. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Uh, yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. That was easy. Uh, but that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah! We were in the gym tearing you apart, so it couldn't have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you. But what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Uh-oh! No snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? Son of a bitch. If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? With her hand? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Before Emma could say anything. Her hand! Kyoko was removing her gloves. Your hands! Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burnt skin. Oh! Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. So she... her... So the reason she wears gloves to hide the burns and scars she got when she started investigating? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I guess it makes sense why she would keep her hands covered. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. And she put her gloves back on. Oh shit. My scars should suffice as proof. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? Mm-mm. No, not at all. I'm positive. 
then this much has been made clear. If Yasuhiro has an alibi, then that could mean that maybe the person that attacked us was actually Mukuru Kusaba, but then used Junko's body to make it seem like it wasn't. It was Mukuru Kusaba that was killed. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just awful! How? On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours! Son of a bitch. Uh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Fuck Monokuma. I'm gonna be the person that's gonna stand up against him to defend Kyoko. Fuck Monokuma. She literally saved our ass! And the fact that she was able to, you know, show some critical damage like that from the very beginning, that's also pretty damn admirable as well. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure. As long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? But I'm not cornered just yet. You're getting there. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. Because Mukuro didn't die. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your brain! Damn. Then, she was being stored somewhere? But... To hide a body here... To just store it somewhere? It's only one place. And I can think of anywhere else in the body the body could have been stored. The biolab. I got it! It's a little more now. Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. The bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? Yep. That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. The tarp. The proof that shows the body was carried from the biolab to the garden. The something that made its way from the biolab to the garden. It's the tarp. I got it! I am so on top of it today. What makes me so sure the body was carried from the biolab to the garden is... The tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says Biolab. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. This proves that the tarp originally came from the Biolab. I just realized what he said was probably not a compliment. God damn it, Byakuya. <sighs> in fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers, and put the code on it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly c consistent. <laughs> That's just a wild guess! Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved! There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Yeah, he is! Monokuma, we got you, bastard! Worked up? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the biolab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? 
You see, the biolab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. The amount of bodies that were in there. An inconsistency in the biolab? Could you be talking about... La la la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. <sighs> wow, Marikuma, very mature. Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Good idea. Hmm. I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the inconsistency in a biolab. Could you be talking about? Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. What is he trying to do? So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? Oh, you bastard. Now you're trying to use psychological, like, you're trying to use these, like, leverage to make us not think right. We got him. We totally got him. And he's going as slow as to use this. We got him. He's in the corner. This is his last resort. Why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that. Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Yeah, I need to calm down. He he wants us to get upset so that we do, wouldn't think about it. We got him on the goddamn robes, son of a bitch. We got him. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bar lab. So if I want to shut him up and to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be the one area where the numbers just don't match up. The, la the lights, 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 it's lights, it's lights. Moment of truth. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! I'm just going all the way for it. Ah! I'm just going all the way what? for it. What do you want? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! I don't care at this point. I'm just going all the way for him. Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? We got him. Find a strike. I'm not listening! We got him. Prove it. The lights. It's the lights. We got him. We totally got him. Oh my god, I'm on a row here. We got him. <gasps> the inconsistency Kyoko's talking about is... The lights. God, I feel so awesome. <gasps> We're gonna take the bastard down. Oh my god, I'm really, really excited. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. Yes, it does. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. Yeah. That's where everyone who's died is stored. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in, and there were only nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Nine lights doesn't make any sense. The number of lights that should be is ten. I got it! Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. S suspicious? Why? Because if you count the six survivors and one mastermind who's a student, making seven people, there should be ten lights if Mukuro is actually dead. But yeah, there's some people alive? That doesn't make sense. This is really inconsistent. That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. Saika died first. Junko was second. Wasn't Junko first? I'm pretty sure Junko was first. No, Junko was second. Yeah, Junko was second because she protested Monokuma in the whole trial thing. Leon was third. Chihiro was fourth. 
Mondo was 5th. Taka was 6th, then Hifumi was 7th. Celeste was 8th. Sakura was 9th. And victim number 10 was Mukuro, assumed to be. Hmm. So 10 people in all? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. You're seeing a dead body just up and disappeared? Not exactly. I got it! The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. Not exactly either. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body, since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? It may very well be that none of them disappear. Kyoko's on it. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's executions, there have apparently been 10 deaths, but there were only 9 bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The reason that less bodies than murders? The explanation for more murders than victims? Why is that? How would, uh, what would make it so that for that to make sense? Same person was killed twice, yep. I got it! Mm -hmm. What about if the same person was killed twice? Huh? Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far, but one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. Or that be called corpus de deformation or corpse mutilation. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings, but still only nine victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess. But still, something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? I can. It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk! She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? Oh! Now that I think about it, the mastermind could have brainwashed Mukuru Kusaba. Could have? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Nothing's gonna become obvious! Because Kyoko's totally delusional! Now she's onto something. Make your argument. Monokuma file number 5. Let's go over that just in case. One more time, due to the third explosion, the victim's limb is unknown, though however dead before the blast, the victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna be relevant or not. Who is this someone else that Mukuru was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Mm -hmm. Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Fujisaki? Mando Owada, Kiyotaka Ishimaru, Hifumi Yamada, Celestia Lu, whatever, or maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered. We got him. No, that's wrong. We got him. 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 <gasps> Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Junko. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? The stabbings. Mm-hmm. Well, remember what happened to her? Oh yeah, we remember. The first murder ever. She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. 
when you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered... Then those similarities match? Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. Mm -hmm. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Mm -hmm. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. Yeah. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. I'm a little bit confused because it's referring it as Junko as like Junko, whoever that was, presented to us as Junko. I'm trying to say that Mukuro was actually being washed to become Junko. I'm just trying to think. I mean, technically, Kyoko was brainwashed to think that her father left. Um, Makoto was brainwashed to think that we were just an ordinary student that just got lucky in a lottery. And everybody else had, and everybody else had their memories as well. Uh, also, maybe possibly brainwashed as well. How they got around. It could be a brainwash. It could be real. I have no idea. But I wonder if that would be a, a, an actual thing, though. And it's really true. Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... What does it all mean? It's okay, yeah, so here, my, hurt, my brain hurts a little bit too. It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the Mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive! She is. She took Yuko's body and made it look like she was the one who died! So Mukuro is still alive! She's gotta be! I think Choko is actually on point this, in this one. A little silence? Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Mukuro alive? The one that's still alive is Mukuro. But can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Mukuro Kusabe is still alive. Make your argument. Oh shit. Uh, Mukuro Kusabe's profile. Hmm. The body we found in the garden. It wasn't Mukuro. Then she's still alive? That's right. She made it look like Junko's body was her. So the mastermind's true identity is... Mukuro! What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Hmm... For that to be true, then that couldn't have been her body we found in the garden. Is that really possible? The body we... According to the headmaster's report, Mukuru did not have a single scar or wound when she came to Hope Speak Academy. The additional physical features were as follows. Height 5 foot 7 inches, weight 97 pounds, vitals 31 to 32. Kyoko has confirmed that the course and matched the char these characteristics. It wasn't Mukuro! Then she's still alive? That's right! She made it look like Junko's body was her! Unless Ju- Whoa. What? Okay, what if she was brainwashed to be Junko? So then whoever Junko is, whoever the person's- Oh! Whoever the person- Whoever the Junko or the person that looked to be Junko, the person's face was covered up in all the pictures, that is the mastermind! Okay, let's go back to Mukuru Kusaba's profile. I believe both girls are pretty pale. Both have blue eyes. The bodies match. Kyoko, no, Kyoko confirmed that the body types match. So the mastermind's true 
identity is... Mukuro! What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Hmm... Of course he's not gonna say anything. For that to be true, then they couldn't have been the body we found in the garden. Is that really possible? I'm gonna give it a go. The body we found in the garden... It wasn't Mokuro! Wow! I might be right! Shit! Who? No. The body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. Right, Kyoko? She was 5 foot 6 inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. So, oh god, she's Junko? Is Junko the mastermind? Maybe Junko and... I'm thinking, maybe... Okay, let's say hypothetically, let's say maybe Junko and Kyo... Maybe Junko and... Maybe Junko and Mukuro were in on it, you know, working together. And she was supposed to be the first one to die? I don't know. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. True, there is a tattoo on there. But if Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? Junko! Oh god, Junko is alive. Someone's actually made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. I never do wait, hold on. Have we ever got to no no we have got to see her hands. But why also we got we had we saw Junko's hand before, her right hand. I didn't see a single tattoo on it. Maybe she covered it in makeup? I mean can't you do that? I think, I don't know. I don't think she was wearing gloves at the time. Maybe she did. God, I'm gonna have to check in next time around. There's only one person that could be. Next time on Danganronpa. Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? 